Hello everyone, Leonardo and Luna here uh, for our first introduction video to the uh, guitar lessons that are going to begin soon on this channel. So remember to subscribe and share uh, with, with anyone you know who might be interested in learning guitar absolutely free online. Uh, the reason why I'm doing these uh, lessons is because, um, you know, about 15 years ago my grandfather taught me and um, I've come across a lot of uh, just ideas and tips and, and, and things that, that have helped me learn uh, to play guitar. Uh, and, and help me uh, memorize things quicker and I just wanted to share those ideas with you in hopes that we can grow our musical community and you know exchange ideas maybe you have a couple of ideas that might help me um, so um, um, let's get started in the future lessons we're gonna learn um, three groups of, of chords our major chords minor chords and seventh chords and what I'm hoping to achieve is that uh, is to teach you these less, these chords as as quickly as possible, so that we can get started with actually learning songs. Um, I am gonna have a couple of tutorials on different songs and stuff as we go along. But if you're a beginner, uh, you feel free to just follow along with the beginning with the beginning lessons. And so, um, the very first topic that I want to touch on is. Uh, storing information, where we store information in our brain. Whenever we want to recall in data or information in our brain, we have a tendency of looking or shifting our eyes to a certain place. I don't know if you've ever been confused and, and don't know the name of an actor or a movie and you just keep turning, what's the name? What's the name of that actor? What's the name of that movie? What's the name? And and eventually, when you shift your eyes to a certain place in your in your head, uh, boom, the information comes, like magic almost. The very first thing is I, wanna, I want to find out where you personally store information. Everybody's different. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. The very first thing that I want you to notice is where do your eyes shift when you access that information? Okay, so I might ask you something simple like what color shirt did you wear yesterday? And just watch where your eyes shift. Um, another question would be what did you have for breakfast yesterday morning? If you can't remember, change it to lunch. What did you have for lunch yesterday? And notice where your eyes are shifting. Now for me, I shift sort of up into, to the right. <laughs> up into the right. And, uh, um, and, and that's where I store information. So in the future, when I show you a chord um, and I ask you to store it in your, um, in your brain or store it in, in the place where you memorize things in your brain, I want you to place it there. Here's what I want you to do. I'm going to show you a chord, for example. I'll show you how what the A chord looks like and then I'll ask you to store it in that part of your brain. I want you to think of your brain as sort of an iPad where um, you have a photo and you can you can shift through that photo and and bring in another another image. Okay, so we can shift that image. Here's an example of a few kids and a few questions so you can see how their eyes shift. What field trip did you go to when you were work when you went to Kimbark? The LA Zoo. What was the name of your teacher last year? Um, I mean, the tape. What field trip did you go to last year? Legoland. Okay. And what was your favorite part about Legoland? Um, my favorite part was when we went on the little cards. What grade are you in? Fifth. What's your favorite subject in school? Science. Who's your favorite teacher? Miss Balcoff. What did you have for breakfast this morning? <laughs> what are your planets? Sun, Mercury, Venus, Mars, I mean Earth, uh -huh. and then Mars. And then? Awesome. What is your favorite cartoon? Caillou and Strawberry for Cake and, um, Born to Go. Now as you can see, some of them were very different. Um, one turned their eyes this way, the other turned her eyes the opposite way. Um, it's different for everyone. So if you have any questions or any trouble with that or if you need more help with that, uh, feel free to leave me a message down here or on, on my Facebook account, which I will leave in the description uh, below. Um, I'm also going to be covering scales and different exercises to strengthen your fingers. And we might do a couple of uh, voice lessons here as well, um, just to help you along the way. Uh, with voice. Again, I'm not the best singer and I'm not the best guitarist. If you have a guitar player in your area, a guitar teacher in, in your area, I suggest you, you sit with them because there's nothing like having an instructor, an instructor uh, um, positioning your fingers, uh, catching any, any bad habits that may be forming that might either slow you down or, or, um, or 
give you a bad sound. I hope that this uh, first introduction video helps. We'll be posting a video here soon. We'll be focusing on tuning the guitar. We'll be focusing on, on different exercises to strengthen the fingers uh, for speed as well. We're going to be covering, you know, mostly Spanish. I'll cover a couple of English songs as well. But if you have any suggestions, feel free to uh, send them over to me and, and um, I'll learn them and I'll post them as much as I can. Now, as you can imagine, there's, I'm going to receive a lot of a lot of requests, so bear with me and be patient with me and I'll try to get them to you as soon as I can. So again, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook, um, be posted, share with your friends, and uh, see you soon. Bye. Say bye, Luna. Bye. Play D for me. D. A E minor E major E major and G G